This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management with this week's market update. This week on the Street of Dreams, the major indices finished a listless week, not far from where they started with below average daily trading volume and declining volatility. For the week, the S&P 500 it dipped one-tenth of one percent. The Dow shed about 78 points or two-tenths of one percent. And the NASDAQ composite was our biggest loser, losing four-tenths of one percent on the week. On Thursday, the Labor Department announced new jobless claims increased by 5,000 to 245,000. New jobless claims have crept higher this year after touching a 54-year low, pointing to some cooling in a hot labor market. But the labor market is still quite strong, in spite of the Federal Reserve's efforts to slow the economy and especially curb the appetite for workers, leading many to believe that the Fed will raise rates by 25 basis points or a quarter of 1% at the next FOMC meeting. On a more positive note, and for the moment, first quarter reporting season appears to be going quite well. Earnings from the S&P 500 companies that have reported have come in almost 5% above analyst expectations. While only about 20% of S&P 500 companies have reported first quarter results so far, they've been better than feared, with 79% of those companies beating profit estimates by a median of 6% and 63% of companies beating revenue estimates by a medium of 4%. Now, the earnings reporting season ramps up in the coming week with mega cap companies like Microsoft, Alphabet, and Amazon on the docket. Plus, investors will get a slew of economic data, including preliminary gross domestic product estimates for the first quarter and the Federal Reserve's preferred inflation gauge. So markets will continue to be volatile as jumpy investors will react to each incremental data point as they always do, in spite of the fact it's only market noise and off time contradicts each other. But their actions will only heighten the lingering uncertainty headed into the Fed's May policy meeting. Now, what the market does on a day, a week, or month doesn't really matter all that much. Most of us, most of the time, of course, are thinking longer than that. And that's why we need to stay invested and embrace market volatility, not fear it. Keep in mind the four most dangerous words when investing, according to legendary investor Sir John Templeton, is it's different this time. It's never different. There have always been and there will always be concerns. But concerns are simply that, concerns. They are not certainties. And each concern is merely a single brick in the wall of worry that markets have climbed successfully all of our lives. Hey, my son Ryan and I, we have 70 years of combined industry experience of building low-cost, tax-efficient, gold-based portfolios. For your free evaluation, all you need to do is call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or just simply give us a call at 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. Hey, this is Bob Payne. I'm the Chief Investment Strategist of Payne Capital Management.